Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Monday afternoon, it's like 1.15. I am just stepping outside for the first time today. I've had, uh, yeah, I had my call this morning and you know, just typical day job stuff, which is fine. I mean, it's a Monday. I need to go and pick up some packages though. Well, what I needed to do was get the hell out of the house for a little bit. It's been a weird day. All morning, it was incredibly like cloudy, like, oh my God, it's gonna have to rain. I mean, it's, it's almost nighttime out. And unfortunately, it's awful humid, like ridiculous humid. In fact, when I walked out, everything on the camera steamed over and I had to get into the forerunner and turn the AC on to get it to unfog. So that, that's what it's like out. I mean, it isn't really all that warm. It's only 76 degrees, but oh, man, that humidity came back with a vengeance. I'm off my way to pick up some packages because some of them got delivered. And I mean, there's gonna be more by the end of the day, but again, that'll get me out more than once because I need to make sure that I'm getting up because I tend to sit there. And when I start doing something for day job, I sit there for way the hell too long and then I get a, an achy spine and uh, nobody needs that. Okay, so uh, there's so much stuff that's coming in this week because I bought all this like little shit. I can't even keep track of it. Yeah, let's run in and get some packages. Uh, I was all excited because I got three boxes and I was only expecting two to be there and I was like, oh, what else came in? It's this big ass heavy box from work. Boo. I hate it when I get all excited and it turns out to be something from day job. Blah. All right, let's go home and eat and do day job shit. Yay. <laughs> okay, kids. So this is pretty much typical for the way things work out. I went and picked up a couple of the packages that were delivered and it ended up with the three. Yes, one of them was a big ass box of brochures from day job. Don't care about that, that's down in the garage. But I did get my nomadic Peter McKinnon eight liter sling. And I have to say, it's actually really comfortable because I had bought like a, it was like a low pro sling. In fact, I think I sent it to Yankee Cowboy a long time ago. And I, like immediately, it just wasn't comfortable for me. It didn't work for me. I think this thing is 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 gonna work out really well. It, it's incredibly comfortable. Um, I had to sort of take some straps off of the the big, Peter McKinnon bag because this only came with one strap. So I took uh, two small ones and put the bigger one on that because this just needs to hold a uh, like a little travel tripod, which is basically what it's for. So I'm gonna go with that. Oh, this sounds weird having that headphone in. I have all this stuff to like promote myself. And you know, I've got my little devious monkey logo on there. So when I take pictures, my logo was visible before I start wearing all these bracelets. So I've got stickers, pins, uh, like buttons, uh, geez, what else? Oh, patches. Of course I had hats made, I've had shirts made, I had all kinds of stuff. So the recent one I got where I got a bag of, of these 50 metal pins. All right, I just had a call, so there was an interruption. Hence, I don't have my crown on. Also, I was showing you, uh, talking about how I promote myself. I don't really promote myself. I just like having all this crap. And, you know, so again, with the buttons and the stickers and the pins and patches, all that stuff. So the other thing that I got today was a self-inking stamp with my logo on it. So now I can just walk up and hit you in the face and mark you as being owned by the devious monkey. Okay, other things that I got. Hat foam. So if you're, you know, you've got a pinhead and the hat that you just bought doesn't quite fit just right and you need it to be a little bit tighter, you got this foam that you can stick inside the brim and stuff and it makes it stick to your head better. Uh, also, uh, I got some, uh, all right, I'm just not even gonna try to do that. I'm gonna spill the entire contents. I got some uh, screen protectors. This is the thing that interested me the most. This is a box of the stuff that I was going to use to try to change the setup in the Forerunner. And I want you to take a close look at this box. Okay, lots of stickers, typical cardboard box. Absolutely not taped at all. Just opened up so that anyone can reach in there and dirty dick it or spit on it or do something else unspeakable with it. 
Seriously? You can't even throw a piece of tape on here to make sure the box doesn't open and shipping? Come on. Okay, anyways, so this is part of what I was talking oh, holy shit, it's like a freaking four section staff. Uh, it, this is basically one of those like crazy ass magic arms, but it's got a clamp. And I was going to clamp this down onto my already existing uh, ram mount setup, and then use this to basically stretch across and, you know, hold the camera. The more I looked at it, after I ordered it, the more that it it's like meant for like a cell phone or a GoPro or, you know, something small like that. But in the meantime, I had this massive epiphany of what I should be putting in the damn Forerunner. And I already ordered it. It is the monitor mount. The monitor mount is basically just, you know, a, a, a sturdy piece of metal that comes all the way across. It has, it's almost like a, like a, like this. And this piece comes down and at the very bottom, it's got a clamp that can slide into a desk and then you just screw it and, and it clamps it down. Now, that ain't gonna work for the Forerunner because it's not like I can go underneath the Forerunner and screw that piece up. It's gonna have to be screwed down from the top. But I've already gone through in my little monkey melon and I've looked at the fact that I, I might have to actually modify it. And, and I might just drill some holes through it and then just use a couple of bolts to, you know, come up from underneath the ram mount and, and literally bolt it into place. So I'm not trying to screw it down in any of that shit. Um, I'm literally going to bolt it permanently into place because that ram mount ain't going anywhere, at least not until I sell the Forerunner or, or something like that and I got to take it out. But it's going to stay there and that base gets screwed into the bolts that hold the seat in place, which is, of course, then adhered to the body of the vehicle. So that's why it's so strong and sturdy. And I figured if I put that, uh, you know, like this thing is, is doesn't even go in anywhere. It doesn't jiggle at all. So if I put it down there and it comes up 31 inches, and of course I can loosen it and slide it up and down, but then have it come across, it'll come across, you know, like further than I needed to. And I could just sort of bend the arm and get it exactly in the center or wherever the hell I want to put it. And that will not jiggle. That's not going anywhere. So that's something that I ordered and I don't think that's coming in until tomorrow. So until that comes in and I have some time, to go out there and dick around with it. Uh, you know, I'll keep you posted and I'll show you the final step and show you how I got it all to work. Saying I get it to work and I'm gonna, and kind of go from there. Other than that, I've just been trying to get day job shit done, which, you know, how that goes, cause I don't wanna, but I think that's where I'm gonna cut off today. I just showed you some loot and all that kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. So that's all you're gonna get for today. Cause I got other shit to do. So if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.